Black Shell Elementary celebrate Earth Day. Let's reduce, reuse, and recycle. Boys and girls, we are here on Earth Day planting a new tree. Why do we need trees? Because trees help save our environment. When we plant trees, trees will grow around our homes or buildings and help keep our air condition bill down. Trees also help us have oxygen that we need to breathe. And they are biodegradable, which means we can recycle trees and use them for paper, tissue, and many other things such as your pencil. So come on out with me and join us in planting a new little tree that will one day grow up to be a giant oak tree. See you soon! Boys and girls, we're going to have so much fun now. We're getting ready to write shape poetry. The shape or pattern of a poem shows what that poem is all about. Shape poems can be about any topic. They are fun to write because you can draw them and use words at the same time. Look at the butterfly. I bet you can guess what this poem is all about. Yes, scholars, it's all about the butterfly. The shape that I would like to write my shape poem about is a tree. So to begin with, I am going to use a spider graphic organizer. First, I'm going to organize my ideas. I'm going to write about the shape that is most important to me right now because it is Earth Day. I'm going to put the graphic organizer out and make it look like a spider. On the inside, I have the tree, the word tree. Then around it, I brainstorm some ideas about a tree. I said, first of all, it has leaves, it's green, it has bark, a trunk, their deep roots, and it's home to birds. Once I have done that, now I can actually draw the shape of a tree or make a pattern of it because I'm excited about what's going to happen next. Then I will use my words to fill in the shape with a poem about the object. After that, I will be able to erase the lines around the shape. And guess what? The shape of the tree will still be there with all of my words. Let me show you my point. Now, boys and girls, I want to share with you my shape point about the big oak tree. We're not standing by an oak tree, but there's a lovely oak tree that I love that's in the park, at Herman Park. Big oak tree. My favorite tree stands tall and green. It is the strongest tree that I have ever seen. It gives a shade in the summer days. It leaves poke out and shoots many ways. When the autumn season comes around, orange and brown leaves fall on the ground. During the winter, the branches are brittle. The bugs that visit it are tiny and little. Oh, how I love this home to the chirp birds. Stories told here are the best I have ever heard. Do you have a favorite tree that roots grow deep? I am sure that you have found it is a great place to sleep by Miss Eaglin.
boys and girls, please remember that we want you to write shape poems and show your poetry off with a beautiful shape. We will see you soon. Bye for now. Boys and girls, I hope that you have a wonderful Earth Day. Why? Because we're excited to celebrate Earth Day. What are we going to do? We're going to reduce, reuse, and recycle. How can we do that? Well, we can walk instead of drive the car. We can plant a tree in our front yard. We want to reuse an old item by transforming it into something new, like my trash bag kite. Miss Johnson and her first graders inspired me to make this kite. Now, I challenge you. Let's reduce, reuse, and recycle.